I know for me, you know, being black, the way that me and my friends have always felt is that we're second class citizens. So, you know, if you're gay on top of that, kind of like grabs in a bucket, you know, we just keep pulling each other back and back down. So it, it's a very um, frightful thing to do. And you have to be brave. And someone told me yesterday, you can't be brave unless you're scared, unless you're fearful, uh, which means that there's a lot of fear involved. Unfortunately, you know, I, I had to come out when I was 21. Um, you know, I wish that when I was younger, I felt like I had the support or I felt confident enough, um, and not myself, but also people around me. But, you know, the thing was that at that point in my life, I decided that, you know, I was 21, grown ass man, I might as well be old enough to speak my mind, um, especially on the platform that I have. What we want to do and what I want to do is I want to use my career as a vehicle to transport a conversation to a much larger mass of people. You know, I think the biggest thing about it is defeating the idea that we don't have gay cousins and we don't have gay friends and stop trying to, you know, basically isolate people that we know and in some way construct a cult of people that are now saying that this is wrong and ignoring everybody around them. And you know, the way I think to hit home is to say, you know, you got a gay cousin. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's just real, you know? Um, and I think it's time that, you know, I think through the hip hop community, we can impact people that, you know, um, we can't reach on, you know, a lot of different mainstream broadcasts, news channels. Growing up in Chicago, I always say that if I wasn't for Chicago, I wouldn't be the same um, as an artist, but I wouldn't even be the same as a person. So in Chicago, there was this uh, place we could all go. It was called, um, oh my God, it was called Open Mic. And they had this little studio in there, but Chance used to go there. Uh, other Chicago artists like Fick, Mensa, Saba, No Name, Gypsy, people that are popping up now too on the scene. We used to all go there, there and we would do spoken words. So like before we had any instrumentals and anything, like we were all like, you know, like poetry, but I think it was definitely, um, in order to be a lyricist, you have to um, somewhat have a metronome and tone uh, of writing. And I think they go hand in hand with each other. And, you know, I loved music since I was a kid, so. And, you know, when I was growing up, you know, I, I became an artist because um, of a song that Twister made with Faith Evans called Hope. And I remember being nine and being on the south side of Chicago and just thinking about, you know, the possibilities and the barriers that I had over my head and where I could go. And when I heard that song, I didn't feel like that anymore. Um, and, you know, that's kind of, you know, that's, that's what made me want to rap and that's what made me want to make music. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.